Hi, my name is um, Nick Simmel. I am here with my guest, uh, Jeff Ross. Um, we're going to be talking about my hometown church, um, First Baptist Waxahachie. My central question is, how did the moving of buildings affect the church? So, um, Jeff, why don't you tell me a little about yourself and what your role is within the church? Yeah, so I am the associate pastor of students and families here at First Baptist Church, um, which basically means that I'm uh, the pastor of teenagers, um, so 6th grade through 12th grade, and then their families. Um, and so I've been here for a little over eight years. Um, so that would be about seven and a half, or I mean six and a half at the old building, and then about a year and a half here at the new location. On to the church and the moving of, moving of stuff. Um, the church's mission statement is find God, be changed, and make a difference. So how does that partake into the um, culture of the church and how that um, goes with the moving of the church? Yeah, so uh, our church, obviously being a church, right, um, has this mission, state of, mission statement of find God, be changed, and make a difference. So our goal, our goal is to first help people find God, which is um, to, to help them become believers, right, to, to witness to them so that they accept Christ, um, and then to be changed is our next point. And be changed is basically everything that someone would do after they've accepted Christ until they die, which is like, we call it as a church where it's sanctification, right? So it's that process of looking more and more like Jesus every day. And so it's kind of that process that we're going through constantly. And then, uh, and then the, the third point is to make a difference, right? So that's uh, kind of being on mission for Christ, um, which is kind of like the third step of maturity, I guess, and, and your walk. So that's whether that's going... Um, you know, giving to certain things to help our community or to help our church or, or whether it's going out and sharing Christ with your neighbor. Um, just that, that idea of making a difference, using your, your life as um, uh, being on mission for God to be that living sacrifice. And so, and so what we did as a church is we realized that, um, that in our old location that, that if our mission statement is going to be about finding new people, at our old location, we were kind of closed off from the growth in our community and in our town. And so uh, we made the choice to move to a spot where all of the growth was happening because our mission was all about new people and people who weren't at our church. So uh, we were going to do what we could to, be, um, to move closer to that so that we could fulfill our mission. Awesome. Um, how in the move, how did that um, – first off, how did you help – during the move, and then how did that affect your position um, as the youth minister? Yeah, so uh, I helped in every way possible. Um, so, so if you've ever moved a house before, you've got to get all of your stuff together. You got to figure out what you want and what you don't want, and you got to move all the stuff that you want to your new spot, and then you got to get rid of all your old stuff. And so, uh, at the church where there's hundreds of people, and we've been there for over a hundred years. Um, there was a lot of stuff that we had, and so I had to help do all the sorting of the stuff that we wanted to, to keep or we wanted to sell or we wanted to even throw away. Like I had to figure out uh, help with that side of getting um, – and even getting another team to help me uh, figure out all that, all those things. Um, and then also, uh, I mean, I helped install new tech, and uh, I helped – and I even had to come and clean the backboards on the gym before we opened <laughs> And so the good thing, though, is is that as a student pastor, the new location has, has really changed my job in, in mostly in positive ways. With the move, we've easily, easily doubled our, our at least our student ministry. Um, and, so, and so as a student pastor, it's, it's really changed my job a lot. And so uh, we've, you know, we, um, we got a new gym, and so part of the gym we... You know, we uh, have used that as a kind of a natural outreach. So um, before before student ministry happens on Wednesday, we have an open gym. It allows people to, to come and, and play, and they kind of get that, that idea of, of I get to do something I really want to do, and I also get to learn about Jesus. And so it's been a really cool thing. Um, and because we've, we've had all this growth, I've, uh, I got to hire a new assistant, a full-time assistant, to help me. Um, it's how we minister to all the new students. So more leaning towards the church and um, less like 
about you, I guess, and more on the church. Um, how did the um, transition go over, and how was how was the process of the whole move in general? Yeah, so uh, like I said, we had to we had to figure out all the stuff that we wanted, and um, and then we sold. We had a big uh, like yard sale with all the stuff that we didn't want. Other churches came and bought stuff, but uh, so as far as physically moving items. Um, that we had a we had a moving team who went and helped us do all that and and basically over the the course of a few months we gathered and 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 got stuff together and then uh, the week beforehand we moved everything over into the new building um, and so it was like we had church one day and it was it was super smooth on a Sunday just a normal Sunday and then it was like uh, ants carrying everything to the new building so we went from that entire next week was a lot of long nights and uh and moving things and and i think i think for the average churchgoer um it was just church in one spot one time and then then the next sunday they just moved to a new location and there was i mean obviously there was a lot of excitement going on for all of our church members to go and see a new spot on the new building um compared to the old um what made y'all choose the location and also um the size of the new building? Is it bigger, um, smaller? How, how did all that go about? We had a team of lay members of our church, um, basically just members who've been here for a long time and our church voted on who was gonna serve on that team. Um, they they got together and they kind of did an analysis of our mission statement, right? That find God, be changed, make a difference. And, uh, and one of the things they realized is for us to meet that goal and to really make a change in our community, um, we weren't going to be able to stay where we were. What they did was, is they really looked at, at three different things, um, three different attributes that a new location had to have for us to move there. So the, the first is that it had to be accessible. It had to be easy enough for people to get to the location. Uh, and then the second thing that they, uh, they looked at was how visible it was. So uh, they wanted to make sure that, that when people, when you said the first Baptist church, that people had seen that, um, and they knew exactly where that was. One of the things that, one of the biggest hurdles at the old building was, is even though it had been there for a hundred plus years, no one knew where the church was. But now, because we moved to a spot where there's a, a you know, a thousand new homes uh, right beside us here. There's the movie theaters right here, the sports complex where where people play soccer and softball and baseball. Um, and sand volleyball, it's all right here. And so we're more in the central part of where the growth is in Waxahachie. The third is they looked at lot size. Um, so because we were moving our entire campus uh, to, to the new space, so we weren't just building a single building. Instead, we were building uh, everything that we, that we needed. We needed offices, education space, auditorium, gym, all of those things we were moving. So it had to be big enough to hold all those things, but also they wanted to make sure that it was big enough to hold any future expansion that we may have. Awesome, now, um, did the new building, when y'all uh, built it, was it any bigger or than the old building or was it any smaller or what? Yeah, so um, it's, it's really funny is, is we built this new building and as far as square feet go, it's actually smaller than, wow. yeah, so it's smaller than the older building. Um, but that's because we had a lot of space that, that just wasn't used very well. Um, and so what we did was, is we took, we took an analysis of, of the, the building and figured out what we needed and what spaces could be double used. And, and then what we did was we moved to the new building. Uh, we decided, hey, we're gonna put emphasis, huge emphasis on these areas and maybe less emphasis on certain spaces so so our new building is smaller but our auditorium which we were running out of space in our old building and it wasn't holding both of our services um, we we went from what used to be a 600 seat auditorium to now an 800 seat auditorium so you know significantly larger and then also we made it to where that space could be used for both our classic service and then also our contemporary service and so that's larger and then also we made our, our children's area larger so uh, moving on to uh, members and employees of the church um, on the member side was there an increase or a decrease in members yes yeah, so um, since in the first year 
our membership grew by 135 new people, um, which is which is a very good year for probably any church out there. Um, but kind of more for us, something that we that we really liked that happened wasn't necessarily membership, but average attendance. And so our average attendance on a weekly basis uh, more than doubled, which is wow. which is very significant. Hey, great! Thank you so much.